Hey guys, Storm here with another um, Top Town Unity RPG tutorial. I'm sorry for the um, long wait. It's been what uh, a month. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, been really uh, busy lately and stressed. Anyways, we're gonna pick up from where we left off last time, and where we left off last time was we could um, buy items from the store, and it would go into our player's inventory. Um, this is just inventory so far. Next on our agenda is starting to display um, the player's items and how many of those items he has. Now the first problem is with our player, um, if you come down here and we check out his inventory, item player manager I think is it and we buy some items, it doesn't stack. So we're wanting to check um, now when we buy an item. So if we just go to our script folder, code, inventories, player, item player manager, I believe. And I'll be back when it's loaded. And I'm back. <clears throat> so what we need to do is we need to check in our um, add to item in inventory. Um, we need to check if we have that item already. So we've got an item ID, and then we have the amount of the item that we're adding. And right now we're only adding one. So what we want to do is we need to loop through our inventory already, which is our items, which I believe we already do. All right. First, what we're going to do is because our ID is going to be unique, we want to have one more thing here called public um, uh, int item ID. Actually, we actually won't need that because it's already in our item class. So what we're going to do is we're going to check um, for int i is equal to zero. I is smaller than items dot count I plus plus so now we're gonna check um, items uh, sorry if items I dot um, item dot item ID ID is equal to our um, item ID that works <laughs> then we just want to um, we'll have a boolean up here um, bool is item item in list and that's going to always be false for the moment and here we want is item in list equal equal true uh, equals true sorry <laughs> uh, what am I doing change this from i to uh, j because we already have um I'll explain that in a second uh, the reason why we're changing it to J is because we have J already to, um, I already defined up here in this for loop and we need another one in here so if that's true if is item in list else and then um, bool item uh, index sorry id index yeah, I int index oh my gosh I haven't coded in C sharp in a while as you guys can probably tell and next we would just want to do index is equal to um, j changes from items i to items j and we should be good 
now what we want to do in here is um, items uh, j uh, sorry uh, index dot amount of item plus plus that's what we need to do um, plus equal plus equal amount that's what we need to do and we should be done that should work if I am correct we go to our player it's in that equal to zero Just clear that. All right, we come in here. Our item player manager is there. We already have five sticks. If we buy some more, we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, so that works. It adds up our inventory, and um, yeah. Let's try and see if we can do something else with this. So pause. Let's go to our general shop should have two different items um, prefabs item stick we'll just uh, duplicate a rock tile to be an item rock And then we'll just give it a. Uh, we'll remove this part, and we'll just do what the stick does, and give it a item class. Add component item. And it's going to be a rock, a solid material, useful for nothing. And we'll make its ID one. And then it's sprite. It hasn't got one because our items are singular. So yeah. Next we go to our managers. Open that up, and we go to our item manager. I'm gonna make two. I'm gonna add in our item rock. I'm gonna go to our general shop, which is there. And we're going to make outdoor. I mean, item rock there. If you want, let's say five of these bad boys for twenty dollars a piece go to our player our player come down to his item player manager and we want to buy probably five sticks and you see we have 10 sticks now and I want to buy two rocks maybe three four four rocks and you can see we have four rocks and then we'll just buy five more sticks so we have 15 sticks and four rocks over here okay have we gone on time it's been eight minutes all right next we want to do is in our inventory so GY no where did we have this saved? Was it on our player class HUD? I'm back when I find it. Alright, so if you don't open up your HUD controller, it's in here. Sorry, my mind's just all over the place. <laughs> and I can't remember what I've been doing. Next, okay, so we have our player, this player, which has our item player manager which has all of our things inside of it so in our inventory we want to get a um, inventory I believe and that's going to be um, player in is equal to our this player dot IP manager dot items I believe yep okay Next, what we want to do is we want to do four int i is equal to zero. i is smaller than 
player inv dot count uh, wait a second that's not what I meant to do at all we want a public list, sorry uh, just a list the public list of the inventory player inv is equal to this player dot manager yeah. okay so now we do for int i is equal to zero i is smaller than player inv I'll explain this part in a second I'm pretty sure I've done this many times i plus plus alright so we have a new list uh, sort of new if you take away this part we have a new list and we're going to call it player inv and we're just going to set it to our this player so it goes to here and it's IP manager which is here and then we want it to be set to the items so we just basically get our items from the thing and now we're having a loop that goes uh, starts at zero and counts through all the times um, play dot count small than player inv dot count should be right up here you just need um using the system dot collections dot generic that's why it's not working I'll show you that one more time dot count there you go and it so it loops through um, the amount of items in that um, list so our list and then it adds one every time it goes down and completes it all and goes back up to the top okay so next what we want to do is we want to display so we can just um, for now we can do a GUI dot label and it's going to be a new rect at um, 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 we'll do it like this so we can get it pretty much at the same area and we want it the height is going to be um like at the spot it's going to start is going to be i um times two i times two plus ten i times two plus ten <laughs> that should work or we can just do i plus twenty all the time that might not work <laughs> um, cause when the in uh, yeah we'll just do i times two plus ten just to see how that works and we want the width just to be we'll just make it 500 for now and then the height to be 20 and then it's gonna be our player inv i dot item dot name yep and then we want a plus and then a space x space and then a plus player inv and then just do amount uh, i dot amount of item all right so we press play press i you see we have stick times five and we're just going to make our height a little bit bigger just uh, about 30 should be good come back in here so stick times five whoops and we walk over to here and we want to buy five of those and as many of those as we can and then just the rest of those escape with that we open up our inventory again and yeah now we're gonna have to fix that problem of the um, placement which could just be done
plus i uh, times 20 maybe no because it's gonna be the same um, Do do i plus twenty plus twenty times two. <laughs> we'll come back and fix this. Um, actually, how much time we got? You know, uh, we'll do it really quick. I'll be back. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do um in i is equal to one, and then play inv dot count plus one, and then here you just want i times twenty, and then these two we just want i take one, and here i take one, and that should be fine for now. So we click play, buy for rocks, and then that's all the money we have. <laughs> Come in here, and you see. They're stacked up upon each other. Alright, and then in the upcoming episodes, we will um, make that prettier and more detailed. So, um, as to look like that image that we had in the last episode. So, we come here and buy some. We're going to have like a backpack here, and then a description of the item. We're going to hide this part here. Um, we can probably do that now just by doing health. Um, if isn't is inventory, just do that, and that should fix our problem like that straight away. And that fixes the health and money, and then we just um, yeah, we'll, we'll fix it in another episode. Um, so it's going to come up with a description of the item, how much the item is worth, how much you can sell it for, etc. And then we'll have our backpack, we'll have a proper looking here thing that we can scroll through. And um, yeah, that's been it for this episode. I will see you guys um, next time. I'd like to thank everyone for the support so far. We hit 450 subscribers recently and I am insanely proud and happy that you guys have been supporting me. And... Um, there should be a new series coming out soon about uh, web design, so um, uh, building a social network maybe, or yeah, it really depends, so we could build something like YouTube or something like Facebook, um, or any type of website really, but anyways, thank you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy the next episode, I'll see you next time, goodbye.